Hey guys, welcome back. So, uh, just wanted to show you today um, subframe connectors in a Mustang. Now, this one's a 68, uh, fastback, obviously. Um, but the same applies basically for any of those uh, first gen Mustangs, be it 64 and a half through to kind of uh, 70. Uh, basically the same, essentially the same car. Uh, so the same set of subframe connectors, or the same theory applies. Might be some slightly different dimensions and length, I'm not 100% sure, but the same practice applies. So I wanted to go through you, show what I've been doing. We're, we're putting a big block engine on this one. Uh, so the customer wanted to upgrade to um, some subframe connectors because he's gonna, you know, it's over 600 horse, and uh, so yeah, it's uh, we're putting a nine inch diff and four link and blah blah blah, all the all the bells and whistles in it. Uh, so yeah, this needs a little bit of stiffening. Now, 68, it does come with the torque boxes from the factory, uh, the left and right in the front, so that's a bonus. Uh, but yeah, let's. Uh, this is, this is the Kiwi version of subframe connectors, and in my opinion, it's, it's the, the, the only way to do it. I'm not a fan of bolt-in subframe connectors. Too much movement on the bolt points, and you're only trying to restrict movement in very small increments. Um, so those, wherever it's bolted in, that's where they flex, and you kind of defeat the purpose. So you really do need to weld them in. Yeah, a lot more work, I'll give you that, but you get the job done properly. So let me flip this around, and I'll show you what I've been up to. So we're a little ways into this already. Now you can see we've got a big old hole cut all the way down here. Now right in here is the torque box. The torque box, the rear torque box comes through here and across here. So what we did is we basically drew a line from the side, of, get the camera pointed right, from the side of the torque box uh, all the way through to the frame rail extension. Uh, which is the little the box section that comes forward from the main part of it, comes rearward from the main part of the rail and ties in with the seat base here. So what I'm going to do is put in some 2 inch by 2 inch box section, some 1 8 wall, and that's going to run in a line uh, basically from, it's going to weld onto the side of the torque box back there, the rear one, and it's going to go right up, lay inside here, which is why I've cut the floor out so we can drop it in and you can see I've drilled a bunch of holes already and it's, so it's going to get plug welded from the bottom we're going to weld in from the top here into the side of it and tie it all in right through it gets a bit dark up there but it goes all the way up there until it, it until the rail starts to go up we can't get it up around that corner but that's tying in if you look if you get in really close there's this little edge you see here that's the front part of the rail and everything behind that is the rear part of the rail. This is this is fairly light gauge, so not super strong. So rather than just weld it on the end of this, I run it through and up inside of the inside to the main part of the rail, which is the strongest part of it. So it's all tied in. Once we get that welded in, uh, we'll put a, a panel over here to cover that, and make this, the floor smooth again. Uh, we cut this this big old chunk out of the seat base so we could access what we're doing that will just get burned back in it's pretty quick just to burn it back in and so once we cut it through here we bent a little flange now let's see if I can get you can kind of see there's about a half inch flange here so we cut it a little too narrow then folded it up with some um, basically those wide those duck bill vice grips and folded that up and that's a little bit oversized, so the thing, the, the subframe connector will push, you know, push up through the floor. And then we just hammer these edges over to the rail. Now you can kind of see over this side we've already got one done there. You can see that's the that's the box section there, coming up through the floor. And you can see where it's welded. That little flange is welded onto the side, and that's the box section sitting inside the rail extension and disappearing way up the front there. So yeah, uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this up in the air now and I'll show you what's going on underneath. Alright, so here we are underneath. Now this is the frame rail extension that I was talking about. See the front edge of it there. That comes back, finishes here. But what I did was cut the back out of it. We just kind of rough cut it out of the back of there. 
So that's where our box section is going to drop in. You can see where some of the holes we've, that's a factory hole, that's one of mine. We've done a few of those along here. And we'll also go in from the side into the box section. So this is the, uh, let me see, you can see it's a bit dark up there, but the rail, the, the main front rail finishes about here, right, just about here. And we see this little triangle of light through here, that's where the main rail. So our, my subframe connector goes right up inside to about here. And so we'll get that all plug welded in. Then coming back, this is just the floor, that's the little flange that we've bent up. Uh, it will weld into here. We've got, a, we've got a weld, we've got like a three layers here, so we'll do a, weld this back together. Put the bar up in here, it will weld on around here onto the side of the torque box here. Now this side, whoa, that's a bit bright. <laughs> Okay, this side here is done. That's the end of the two inch box section here. And then we basically box it in and tie it up to the top round here to the floor, as well as onto the side of the rail. We can't come further back because of the leaf spring mount here. That's the bolt, the eye bolt for the leaf spring. So that's as far back as we can come. But we've got a good contact patch there for the rail, so tying into the rear rail. And yeah, so it, uh, Here's our bell housing for our Tremec. Yeah, so I'm going to go and grab the rail and um, slide that up in there. Start burning it in. Okay, welded that bit up. I'm just grind it smooth so we don't uh, have an issue, you know, a binding issue with the subframe connector. So here's the subframe connector. Uh, now, if you look along it, you can see it's got a little bit of a kink in it, a little S-bend, that's because this rail doesn't line up exactly with the inside of that. So just do a little wee, basically it's just the thickness of the cutoff wheel blade on, on those two points, lean them in, weld them up, do a nice, you know, make sure you get plenty of penetration because you don't want to, you don't want to have that weak. We'll also put a couple of plates on here once it's all in, just to, you know, like overlap it, just to tie them together a little bit even more, you know, even stronger. So this is going to slide up in here, so I'm going to do that now. So that's, you can see just how far basically it goes in from there all the way up to there, right up inside that chassis rail, so it's going to be super strong. bit of finagling but that's basically how it's going to sit that'll go up a little bit higher this will come it's just hanging up a little bit it's going to come down a little bit lower we'll just clamp that down start well so yeah I'm going to uh, I have, do have we can pull the front down I've got this set up because I've already had it in the once and reach there. Yeah. Pulls that down. Just got to lift the back back up. And just put a little stand under that just to push that up the last little bit. And yeah, burn it in. So I'm going to crack open the welder and uh, Start welding. Yeah. Right, let's do this. Well, all that's left to do is kind of everything. 
<laughs> do all the welding, you know, obviously do all these plug welds. Uh, we'll get this welded in fully. Then we'll weld the floor pans in. Uh, but that's tacked in place now. Uh, we'll hammer these into shape and we'll just get the floor sitting at the right height. That's the floor's up slightly, so he's going to tap that down a little bit. Uh, get things fitting and keep welding. So back in a second. So got a fair bit of the welding done here. I thought we we're going to get done underneath anyway. I've got uh, and also made up this little plate here, which is going to go in here just to beef things up. And uh, yeah, that's just um, made up out of some 16 gauge, just folded in shape, the old CAD design, the cardboard design. Uh, so I'll burn that in, and then it's uh, up top, and burn it in, burn it all in up top. So we got the underside welded up. That's all done. I've done some of the welding up here already. So we've got it all welded along here on that flange that we'd bent up. And you can see the kind of welds through here. Same all the way through to here. Now, we bent this little, you can see this little cut here. We kind of reached up in here and got in as far as we could with the MIG up in there to weld it to the inside on the top edges. You can see the stitches welds down through here. So that's, um, that's all in. The, uh, the actual subframe connectors are, are basically fully welded. So what I've got to do now, we've done a little trim on this to fit around the subframe connector. This is just going to drop back into here, like so, and get welded there. And again, that all ties in. This is all, you know, having this welded around the subframe connector ties the subframe connector to the rocker here at this point, ties it into the center of the tunnel. Same at the front. Now I've also made this little panel which I means just a very simple couple little bends and a bunch of holes punched that is going to go over here now the main reason for that is just really to cover that so your carpet doesn't drop down into there this is just um, really to hold the carpet up so that's going to go in there that'll plug weld uh, yeah and tie it all together before that goes in we're going to use some of this which is a cavity spray uh, because there's lots of tight little gaps around here and doing the stitch welds I can I can get this in here because if any water shouldn't get in here it should all be sealed up because we'll run around and seam sealed everything as well but you know it's kind of a safe and sorry type of thing you know while we can access in here and get it you know really may as well just makes sense now this stuff does creep so we'll just kind of blast it everywhere ah. now one thing try not to get it on where you're welding because that will mess with your welding because um, it's quite a waxy sort of substance so well yes be generous don't get too overexcited with it. <laughs> so yeah. So yeah, just again, that's the worth cavity protection spray. Not the cheapest stuff out there, but I do believe it's the best. So, uh, so the next step is actually to get this welded in. So grab my helmet back. Just it a little bit. Some people say I've got a big head. I think it's that everyone else has got a small head, but you know, it's just me. We're just gonna try and do this without setting myself on fire. Started a little fire. <laughs> yeah, there's a little fire going on in there. That'll burn off the um, solvent. It's not going to burn the house down. Oh, 
Punch me that screwdriver, Steve, if you can. There you go. So yeah, it's just a bunch of welding. So I'm going to get that section uh, finished welding that in, and then we'll put the little patch panel in. All right, so I finished welding that all down the fronts and the back here. So that's all locked in and closed in, uh, back up to full strength. So now all that's left to do is just welding this in. So I'm going to do that, and this is really, I mean this was just a tape measure from that you know that point to that point a couple of little bends just got to hold that down and weld it in that's plug welding onto the top of the rail extension that's there and that, that's how they're welded in anyway so uh, that's more than strong enough so I'm gonna run a few plug welds here get ourselves lined up nice oop that moved Dang it. So yeah, I think you guys get the idea. Uh, really just kind of uh, join the dots as it were. And uh, this will be done. Uh, and then it's on to making some room in the transmission tunnel uh, for the Tremec. And uh, yeah, that's not gonna be much of it. <laughs> it is in this heat, man, it's 96 degrees here today. So doing this welding is a bit tough, but that's just part of the job, man. All right, guys, well, I'm gonna wind this up and uh, go home have a cold one you guys have a good one and we'll see you on the next video